Hi, Eric here with 30 by 40 Design Workshop. Today I'm gonna to be reviewing Bespoke Home. It's a book about Bates Massey Architects. It has an introduction by Paul Goldberger and it's about 287 pages long. It's a beautiful monograph. Let's get right into it. The architecture of Bates Massey is thoroughly modern and contextually responsive, drawing inspiration from agrarian forms and the raw materials of building. Tobacco barns, farmsteads, concrete, stone, steel, and wood. The delight is in the assemblage of these materials, the care taken to both invoke emotion and develop the greatest effect from the fewest gestures. Water jet cut steel traces shadows across the face of the Sagaponic house. A wine collection provides the structure and form of an entire wall of a dining area. A simple planar deck viewed from afar becomes a variegated tartan planked boardwalk underfoot. The depth of material exploration is striking. Models of a stainless steel clip system reveal the care and craft Bates Massey invests in such a seemingly simple detail. Yet these details are what make the project so interesting, and they're repeated throughout, inside as a cabinetry detail, outside as a means for blind fastening the planks to the wall. When layered on simple but strong conceptual underpinnings, the work is restrained yet confident. These explorations are clearly funded by an elite class of homeowner, whom we can thank and hope the bespoke architectural inventions they finance, propagate, and are able to inspire those who can only afford a more mass-produced architecture. So the book's strengths, in my opinion, are its full-page, beautiful, rich photographic spreads and large imagery. This is why you purchase an architectural monograph, to keep from pinch-zooming on your phone. The book indulges one's desire to inspect the details closely and the space to learn about their inspiration. If I had a complaint, it would be a lack of diversity of architectural documentation and information. As an architect, design process and construction consume immense intellectual resources, so to see it missing in favor of the carefully staged final image feels out of character with the depth of study I know must have been invested in such a compelling work. The book would benefit from the inclusion of more drawings, sketches, details, sections, and a closer look at their finely crafted models. However, I do feel the monograph really lives up to its namesake, a bespoke object, worthy of display and continued reference for both modernists and fans of Bates Massey's work. The book retails for $35 on Amazon, and the links are below in the description.